Okay. Hey. Supposedly live. Welcome to the show. We are for actually for time. real live. This is it. This is the uh, version 4.0. We're talking yes. about all things sports tonight. You're going to love the show. And tonight we are sponsored uh, by our dear friends, Tim Hortons, because there is one in town here. We are at an undisclosed location. Do you want to remain yeah. undisclosed or we're going to disclose well, it? Well, we've tried to disclose it three times now, but it hasn't worked so What well. are we? We're in Centerville, Ohio. Centerville, also, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Yes, Dayton, Ohio. We're talking baseball. we also got a special guest that's going to be on only via text because he refuses to be audio with us because of his... Uh, he has to be cloaked at all times due to security reasons. But he is the foremost authority that I know on the sport of hockey. hockey. I, I believe he is the, the smartest man concerning hockey in America, but not in Canada because I, he's from Canada. I think this is, we just, people have to know when we travel, when we're a traveling show, we have issues. Yes, we do. We're a traveling yeah. show. We're it's tra just, not it's, for, just for right now. It's like life. We don't even okay, care. Okay, Wanda begin said hello. Wanda. We love Wanda. Wanda is from Nolens. 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 So if you're live in Nolens, you're live anywhere. So Wanda is the bestest person. This right. We named this little thing Wanda. That's what we did. That's Wanda right there. Sort we of would not up. name that ugly thing. We love that thing. No, that's that's just, right. Now that's let's see if we right. are live. Are we live? Yeah, honey, we're live. We've got live on that one. We've got live on this one. And the other thing we have, ladies and gentlemen, is we have a live... Did you crash again? I, I Something happened. Oh, but we have a live audience tonight. We do. Yes, we do. We have an audience. It is not as big as our audience. Where were we before when we were undisclosed? Now you can disclose. I know. When we were undisclosed, we were in Buffalo, New oh. York. But New York doesn't like Floridians. And I think Floridians might have the same opinion because they're not really allowed to be in Florida either. Oh, that's right. New Yorkers right. can't yep. be in Florida. Floridians can't be in New York. So That's true. Um, have has our live audience been able to get on the internet? Are, yeah, they, are we good? Are, are we, we good? People are, are we, we? Yeah. What are we at here? We were screeching before, yeah. but now we're good. We're good. Okay. So we've got part of it right here. The putts is on. The begin is on. Putts is not again. Wanda. Yep. We're good. There is no bad weather here. Pandora is watching. We're waiting for other guests to arrive. It's but not, got like, a lot of fun stuff going on here. We learned some stuff about sports. We're going to talk about hockey right. tonight. What we are the sports? We learned a lot of great stuff about sports. We well, did. All of the main, I think we have something for basically all the major ones. Yeah, this is the show we had a hard time eliminating or picking questions because there were so many. Right. Sometimes we're really searching for questions, but we have a live audience. We'd like to hear from our live audience. Way in the balcony. There we go. Thank you very much. That's our live audience. Those of you that are in the balcony, we apologize. The escalator didn't work tonight. They had to walk right. up the stairs. 13 well, and they, flights. They're distancing, of, you know. Yeah, 13 flights there. Wanda began. Tim well, actually, Hortons. you're not distancing. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Wanda took her first trip to Buffalo, New York with us. Her and her lovely, amazing, See, incredible Linda husband. Linda said you're at your parents' house because the picture's on the wall. Exactly. Oh, the putts is sharp. Yes, exactly. We're still not linked on the old Jim Peters, hun, is the only thing. So, we don't know what happened. Oh, I, oh maybe yeah. that's what the problem is because I don't have... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, we're, not, we're broadcasting on we one channel. We can just talk tonight. amongst ourselves. We will. All right, we're That's talking amongst wanna. ourselves. We'll see what happens. I don't, All right. I don't know. So David and Susan got to get onto that page, and then we're going to have our special guest from Canada. All right, what do we got? We're going to come out of this shoot with what? We got a couple of cool videos. Yeah. So what do you want to show? Well, ask Dad. Dad, can you get on? Can you get Are you on? on Dad. The Jim Peters. I'm not. I'm going to try the other one. Oh, okay. you can't get on the. Jim All right. Peters. I'm on the. My Jim dad Peters. is here. He's That's trying right. to be on. We don't not know what's what. Here we have all these great questions. I was like, this is some good stuff. Yeah. And like nobody, because we don't, we're having issues. Yeah, exactly. We have to have a, a hot audience tonight. This one's going to go big. Our okay. last one, you guys, we had how many views? We had 4,800 people view yeah. it, right? Yeah. That's really incredible. Those of you that are sharing, thank you so much yeah. for sharing. We have gotten some great programs. The road show was really good. The shoe show, we've had some really epic ones. We have a new grabber. We can't take the grabber out of Florida. There's something uh, legally about it that's uh, not allowed in other states because it can be considered to be an alien probe, is what they told me. But this round I purchased at CVS. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A part of yeah. our audience is now backing up because you we can actually read them. We can reach them, I mean. So we'll see. Uh, and Neil, are you on, are you live on the internet yet, Neil? No. I, no. Neil's got I'm problems. Just He's just circling. Okay. Well, well, I think that's kind of his thing. Well, I think We've, we're still on, but it is. It's we got Neil with us tonight, my father-in-law, who is retired as of recent because yeah, yeah. he sold his body shop. How long did you own the body shop, Neil? Forty-five years. 
years. 45 years. He fixed over 96 cars in that time, people. I'm not saying he's slow. He just does it really, really well. He's really right. good. He polishes every nut and bolt that goes onto that car before he sends it okay, out. Okay, Michael Scott says so far so good, I think. Okay, good. I know. Michael Four Scott times, is... times, Michael. He's, he's a resident nerd. He's our resident nerd. So, oh, Wanda said it's yes. a sloth? We're, yes, it is. It's a sloth is what we say. Wanda doesn't know this. That's right. Okay, okay so yeah. Wanda, here's your first experience. I like that Wanda begin. I like that Wanda begin. <laughs> That's the sloth. My name is Wanda the Sloth. My name is Wanda the Sloth. There you go. That's the sloth. He travels with us on the dashboard of the car. Since we have had him, we have not had a traffic ticket. Well, you think that's it? I'm Is that what sure. you think? Okay. I'm pretty sure. You know so, what? I'm realizing when we asked the question about the hockey puck, we really didn't. Did you guys get the question? I mean, should we go back? I'm a little, like, what should we do? I, I don't know. I'm, no. I'm a little confused myself. I know, because we just, we were all over I'm the place. I'm a little tonight. confused myself. So there we go. All right. We are not getting any comments on Jim Peters, but maybe those will pick up in a little bit. The Jim Peters. Okay, we're just what's gonna going to play on. this. That's it. This all is, right. there you go. That's it. There oh, yeah. you go. That's exactly how it's kind of going tonight. What? That's it. Right. Yeah, right. See, look at those eyebrows. I now have my dad's eyebrows. You, where you definitely got, have. To... My dad's eyebrows were, they became their own antenna kind of thing. And mom would have to trim them. And she only did that, I think, three times a year. And it usually was before major events for the family. But other than that, those suckers were They're just... like little porcupines. Oh, yeah. You know, never been yeah. touched by a porcupine, but it seems yeah. like what it would be. They are definitely, uh, yeah. <laughs> Linda Putz said hello, everybody, for the 50th time. 50th time, that's right. The putts. As long, honey, as long as we got Lydell, we got a show. All right. We I have no have idea how, like, who's watching And the Soderlins have now joined. Hi, Soderlins. The Soderlins are amazing people. We love them. They love them. All right. So before I was asking, we were talking about sports. Yeah. And one of the questions that I had, and now I can't find it. Okay. Oh, here it is. Was about the hockey puck. Oh, yeah. David R. Wells already knows this, so we're going to go with it. Yeah. Yep. What do they do to a hockey puck before a game? Do they weigh it? Two, freeze it. Three, soak it in water. Ooh. I know. Those are good ones. Now, while that is happening, let's show the video of the young man who was jumping out of a tree and swimming. Oh, no. This is our favorite one. I promise you with this one, everything in your body will hurt for just a brief second. I'm telling you. you got to check it out, though. This is see, one of the Sean, best videos. See, Sean, tell him. Nobody wants yeah. to see this video. Here we go. Yeah. And I'm going to drink some coffee while we go through that. Okay. Thanks, Tim. I'm just going to say something before we watch it. I don't like this video. I so love this video. If you didn't hear that, I don't like this video. You, you literally, if you can watch this video without wincing, there's something wrong with you. He likes as a to watch the fails on TV, you know, All like right. on YouTube. All right, here we go. Okay, here we the go. Fail Army is the best. Yes, Fail Army. Here we go. Oh. Okay, try to make the body sound. I got this guy's watch. What he said right before he got to the third, hold my beer. Yeah, that's it right See, there. See, I think he was. That's the best. He got watch hurt. it one more time, people. One more. Okay, there we're going go. off. That's it. And then you know when he hit the bottom, he was like, <gasps> you know when that happens to you and you're sucking wind? That's an athlete right there. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I was driving. You All right. People are answering the and question. Oh, uh, the other Beth said I was driving. You kept going off and on and that is hard while I'm driving. I know. We don't know what Who happened. said that? The other Beth? The other Beth did. Oh, geez. Why is she driving? Jim's imaginary friend came to life. <laughs> yes. The sloth. And he talks to it. And That's it talks it. back to him. All right. So there we go. Uh, okay. One. With give me. us a one. Okay. Wait, where is it? All right. Lost my place. Since we're yes. all over the place today. All right, yeah, we are we are behind, we're staggered here in the view. All okay, right. so what do they do with it? Number two. Number two. They freeze it. Yeah, which makes it even harder. Now, with the little bit of research that we did, I've played some hockey in my day. Um, usually with my skates completely prone, not like this. They were laying I skated on the leather, not the blade, usually. I was terrible. Um, and then I played a little soccer. Never. We just played football in the backyard. Yeah. Uh, and then we quit when somebody got a concussion. Uh, and then what else did they play? Oh, baseball. We played a lot of baseball. Okay. Played some softball. Played yeah, but you're saying ball. like in your backyard. Yeah. yeah like just, you didn't. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, in my experience, I am now absolutely convinced that the toughest sport is hockey. Oh, Bob said you can start. I'm here. Oh, oh Bob. Bob. Everybody say hi to Bob. Say hi to Bob, everybody. Right. You know the routine. Everybody We've say hi to Bob. We've got the cutest little thing for Wanda Bob. begin. you got the question right, which is staggering because you're a Cajun. All right. I, see, All right. You guys, I'm so sorry. Today, I'm, I'm going to be really... Daryl Glass has joined. Hi, Daryl. Oh, my buddy, Daryl. There you are. You heard it from her. Dad's from her. There. Listen to me. You heard it from Neil over there. All right. Bob's okay. here, so i got to play the squirrel. Okay, okay. you got to play the squirrel. Okay. Here we go. It might be kind of loud. I'll try this to is Bob it. after sugar. <laughs> Look at that 
that little fella. He's so cute. Irish dancing squirrel. I, I don't know what he's doing. It's awesome. I have no idea what he's doing. So you can't get out. No? Vero Glass is watching. What else? Pandora is now with us. Becky Wright is with us. All right. Very exciting. So okay. we had we had a great road trip though, didn't we? We're still we on the road. Yeah, we had a great time. We don't get home for a while. Probably shouldn't be telling everybody that. They can just go to the house. Oh well. Yeah, we're home tomorrow. Yeah. Home um, tomorrow. No, it was a, it was really funny. So Dad got driven home from Buffalo. He just sat in the back. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, like he's a got a new cat. car that has his screens in the yeah, back. Yeah, so he, he just, loves them screens. Yeah. Puts Play them up. Play him some solitaire. Thinks he's in a limo. Right. All right. Okay. I'm going to get right to the question that I think is really interesting. All right. Here we go. This is very fascinating, you guys. Okay. How much football is actually played in an NFL game? Oh, we love this. Yes. Uh, Michael Scott's giving us a technical issue here. Um, oh. How much? Well, number one, 11 minutes. Number two, 24 minutes. Or number three, 37 minutes. So from the snap of the football to the end of the play, and you add all those together, how much football are you actually seeing? Are you actually seeing uh, number one, 11 minutes? Number two, 22 minutes? Or number three, 37 minutes? Yeah. You're not the world's biggest football fan. I'm not a big fan, but I kind of like I watching I like going football. to the games, but it, they're boring. I like watching it from like the second half on. Yeah. Yeah, it's like well, it's like well, it's like any game, like yeah. the last couple minutes, you know. But even then, like football, then you go into all those timeouts. It's like yeah, serious. it gets a little crazy. All right. I liked arena football. All right, everybody said hi to Bob. We did the squirrel video. Mary so. Conway says she's she's never seen my hair up. That's so funny. Hi, Mary. We have the hair up today. Why do we have the hair up today? We have a headache. I have. A, I know. I've been getting headaches. She Yay! Got a bad headache. That's I can't like he was imagine. Me out today. I would give. So we've got some answers. Okay. Yeah, minutes Clyde of football. Clyde's friend will send. Clyde has some new video. There, the, oh. the solar and squirrel. So oh, they're going to send us some yeah. new stuff. Yep. Wanda begins says number three. He's doing an Irish jig. Sean says number one. Uh, Beth, the other Beth says number one. Uh, and then yeah, okay. So there we go. We're getting some answers in. What is the answer? Honey? I can't believe you guys are stuck with us. This has been quite the day. Um, you guys, it's one. Now, you know what? Part of me is like, yes, I believe it. Oh, 11 minutes of actual football. Our audience got that. But one, or 11 minutes. I'm yeah. like, that's ridiculous. We found this huge breakdown of how much you're actually seeing during a football game. Yeah. And it's quite amazing. Right. Yeah. So when we finally get um, going, what's the next one yet, honey? Well, you know what? I'm going to go right video. into We got a lot of video tonight. I'm going to go right into this one. Because yep. what is the number of commercials in an average NFL okay, game? Okay, remember the, you saw 11 minutes of actual game. And then do you see number one, 49 commercials, number two, 76 commercials, or number three, 100 commercials. Now, Lydell will weigh in on an answer here in a minute. And just remember, Lydell is usually wrong. Paul Kilgore, the world's best real estate agent, oh, is watching. We like Paul. Paul Kilgore He sold my house and he made me good, some money. <laughs> he's good people. Yes, we love him. Yeah, if you're selling in Indianapolis, he's give the Paul the, the call. Right. Pandora's is number three. So far, Pandora has gotten two questions correct, which is shocking for Pandora. Or is that John? I don't know which one that is. Uh, Gwen says, uh, let's see, what do we got? Paul Kilgore, Gwen says number three. Okay, so you're answering the questions. What is one of those other videos we were gonna show? Okay, I can stupid, show something. Show me the, you could show my little commercial video, the stupid one. The stupid you know, commercial? The, all of mine are stupid, you know that. Wait, which one, too soon? Yeah. Oh, or the Too soon. Yep. lifting weights? Uh, yeah, to... yeah, you can do the lifting. Whichever one you want, babe. Okay, this was really cute. Yeah. This guy's like, I mean, this, this is, like... is Yeah, this is me and most, uh, when I work out most days. I try not to do it in front of people. It's kind of embarrassing. But this guy is really incredible. I mean, he's doing a backflip, for goodness sake. <laughs> yep, that's so jam right there. <laughs> Awesome. Look at this, man. If you even tried that, I would be oh, scared. Oh, Lord, no. I wouldn't try that with a broom handle. There we go. And look at you can and see. He stuck the landing. He ain't done that just once. This is not like it. <gasps> there he is right there. Looks like my friend Josh Cummins right there. Right, right there. Right there. All right, you guys. You're okay. weighing in. Sean says she's usually at a game, but she, they, she would say three. Okay, yeah. Pandora, I think you were answering to this one. I think you're the only one that got it right. It's three. It's a hundred <laughs> commercials. Yeah. So you see 11 minutes of action and watch a hundred commercials. And they're 30 seconds a piece. So Dale, if you're I'm watching a like, hundred commercials and they're 30 seconds each, how many minutes of commercials are there? 
That's insane. How many? 50. Five zero minutes of commercials. That's crazy. That's what the, our men's minutes? had just said that. Yeah, five mm-hmm. zero. I, you know what? I don't know. I just that's like an hour of commercials because the program, the game is three hours long. I'm like, that's that. insane. Yeah, that's just wrong. That's some great marketing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. We one of the things we like to do in Buffalo is what the number one thing we do. I in know. Buffalo. I yeah. eat. I was going to say yeah. see friends. Oh. <laughs> I do that too because I love my friends. I love my friends in Buffalo, and actually, you love the people, not the food. I was hoping to like see Gwen and Michael Scott and all that, and then you love the people, not the food. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. That makes me sound so bad. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite, um, definitely. Yes, I was hoping to see everybody when we were up there. It it was a no go. It was a no. Your governor doesn't like us. No, he doesn't. No. You're not good people. Pandora, you're on. Pandora, you, is she hit three now? She, she got, got three right. She got three right. She got three now, right. What I'm guessing is that's John, because Pandora's not usually this sharp. Just saying. That's Pandora's just not had three right at this point of a broadcast in the history of our broadcast since May. I hear you. Okay. Lydell finally joined us. Lydell, you've missed some questions. Just throw some random numbers at us. We'll see if you got them right. You don't even need to know the questions. Linda just caught me watching my audition. This show, I gotta go. Oops. What? What? I don't even know what that means. Watching my edition, this show. I, I gotta go. I don't know what that means, Oops. Chris. I love you. But okay. All right. All right. Oh. Paul Kilgore guest number three. Pandora said it was her. There oh, you go. wow. Okay. All That's right. good stuff. All right. Moving so, on. should we go to. Yes. Um, you right. should. We'll go to the N- another NHL question. Okay. If a team's two goalies. I think I did that. Yes. Right. Two goalies are injured in an NHL game. Who can play for them? Okay. Who can play for the uh, goalie? Here's your three options. Number one, a fan. Number two, the coach. Number three, a referee. Right. There Who you knew go. that? Who knew that? I know. Yeah, that's right. All right. Our audience is waiting. Our live audience I know. here. Studio audience. So far, he's known everything about hockey, which he's from Oklahoma. Yeah, I, was, I don't understand. But you don't think some hockey. of the people in the balcony are having difficulty with the internet. Yeah, tonight. yeah. That's right. Well, Pandora, we're all... you are amazing tonight. She's, Paul Kilgore's coming. She's in. rocking it. Lydell says he he wants to go with the numbers two, one, and three because he missed the questions. And actually, Lydell, that happens to be the answers. Is it? So you can give yourself yes. Just say Ly- oh. yes to Lydell. I think it would have been one, two, and three actually. <laughs> what happened here? Everybody gets a trophy thing. Oh, you told me not to do that. Ugh. Lydell says number one. He's coming in on this one. Okay. Lydell used to play hockey. Right. Yep, he did. Gwen says he's an idiot governor. Sorry for the bad attitude. Would have been fun to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I was like so excited. I'm yep. like, oh, we'll all get together. This is going to be great. Sean says they designate an emergency goalie. Number one is his guest. Debbie says number three. Pandora says number two. Neil Green is now live in the studio and on the internet. All right. So what's the answer, honey? Put the okay, question up I and tell them. Up. Let me find right? the end because I'm all We're finding all the question. The today. It's all good, baby it's girl. All good. It's okay. so good. You guys, it's a fan. A fan. They can even have a fan. Play. Our audience got it right. Yep. Yes, I couldn't believe fan, it. It's coach, a fan, the coach, or referee. Yeah, anybody can play. So that's bizarre to me, but I like it. I that's how what they picked is. a fan. We figured out that hockey, I think, is the toughest sport because mm-hmm. they're playing a full 60 minutes. Right. So they actually play, not 11 minutes. They yeah, play. they're yeah. playing. And it used to be, one of the facts we learned was uh, the captain of the team. Uh, for the the hockey team had to be on the ice the entire game. That's crazy. He had to oh, play sixty just, minutes. Yeah, just looked that up. Oh, that's right. You did say that. Yep. One. He had to play sixty full minutes of hockey. Dear Jesus, you didn't want to be the captain more than one year. All right. What else you got to stop? Wait a minute. The... Sean Ryder has got to be nominated for line of the day. The fact that he said he could do the backflip with the barbell. Who's who's calling wow. uh, him out? Oh, Michael's calling him out. Well, the other thing about Sean, see, we don't know a lot about Sean. He's fairly new to the program. He's yeah. not a sharer. Okay. Not listen. And he's not a top fan. Our audience <laughs> has just received a phone call that we think could be. In a moment, you're going to hear the phone number. So if you want to call him back, you can call them it back. It doesn't get any more real than this. Did you hear that? 9537 was the last four. If you need to call somebody. Virginia from Australia has just joined. Oh. Virginia, this is the sports show, and I think yeah. you can represent in an amazing Virginia, way. Virginia, I got to see Karen and Larissa. 
Oh, oh that's right. Thing? You did. Yeah. Where's Neil Bob? We were at another right undisclosed there. location for we you were, to see yeah. Karen and Larissa. Right, right. That's right. We've been kind of traveling around. Where is Neil? Bob Atwood wants to know where Neil is, so you got to say hi to Bob. Yeah. Come on around. Sure, come on around. Here he comes. Here you go, Here Bob. Here he comes. Hi, hi Bob. Yep. <laughs> Do I tell him I was at Bob's house? Yeah, yeah you, you can should. You oh, can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bob, They're Bob, family. Bob's a good cook, but his wife keeps overdoing it. <laughs> she did. We were spoiled there. We were. They, yeah. fought, they fought over flipping the chicken. Yeah, yeah they did. Uh, Neil says that's the best chicken he's ever had. That And that's we had right. it, um, She yep, she marinates it in, um, oh, shoot, I want to say Geppetto, oh, but yeah, that's Pinocchio. A, right. Chevetta's. Almost yes. said Geppetto. See, Pandora, you're with me. She said, how would you like to be a football player and work 11 minutes for millions of dollars? I mean, seriously. Well, there's some truth there. All Where right. the hockey guys get paid a whole lot less and they're crazy. working 60 minutes. That's crazy, true. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so let's see if you guys can answer this one. All right, here we go. How much action time is in a, in a Major League Baseball game? Okay, one, is it 18 minutes of actual play? Number two, is it 45 minutes of actual play? <clears throat> or answer number three, is it 57 minutes of actual play? How much action is in a Major League Baseball game? One, 18 minutes. Two, 45. Three, 57. What are you weighing in with the audience? The audience says we have one answer at 18 minutes, one other answer at 18 minutes. The balcony, they're voting for answer three, 57 minutes. That's what they're doing. Uh, we even have a we have a, a resting audience. We have an audience that's resting. <laughs> She's resting. Tonight. Yes. My mom is resting. Very tired. We wore well, her out. Well, we've been, yes, yesterday, or the other day, we were painting my sister's furniture outside. Wicker it furniture. More, it was more of a task than we realized. <laughs> Nothing yeah. funner to paint than wicker. You can't just slap oh, it like this. Man. you got to go this way. By the end, we were basically way, pouring right? it onto the furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good, though. Yeah. The part she painted. Oh, Del Bach is here. Delbert J. Bach III. There Let's get it right. Go. Is that Delbert? Are those new glasses, Del? Here, Jesus. He's aged. So the years have not been kind of Delbert. All right, what do we got, dear? All right, Del so is saying number one. Uh, find it again. There it is. Yeah, Del is into sports. If we can keep Del interested for less for more than two minutes. But God some is of here. these are kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, I just think this is interesting. Yep. Okay, so um, Major League Baseball. How yes. Many, how, what would you say? One? He says our audience said number one, 18 minutes. It's one. It's one. It's like, seriously, I cannot we, believe this. We are getting robbed as a people. We're robbed. Forget about COVID, all this other craziness that's going on in our nation. Our sports people have to step it up. Yeah, we They're want them to play They're playing 11 hard. minutes, people. Come on. What happened in football? Back in the day, they used to play both sides of the ball. That was at least 11 minutes. Now the guys who are only playing the offense are getting six minutes. See, Virginia said they get paid millions or gazillions, too, for their football. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Okay. I don't get it. I don't either. All right. Debbie came in with a number three with a comment. Not enough this year, but I'll say three. There you go. All right. Good one. All right. Susan McQueen-Wells is in with number two. Let me know if David is available. He may have left the building. Dave is very high-powered. And you can't really book him twice at the same event. He yes, doesn't well, do that. So we were hard attempted, to stick with this today. He attempted to get on three right. different times. I got to give him that. Okay, so we'll go to this one. This is kind Here of off the. Yep. Okay. Here we are. You're gonna like this. So, one. what were golf balls <laughs> originally made from? All right. Were they number one dried cow eyeballs? Number two horses foreskins, or number three pigs intestines? Our audience is going for, they're both going for number three. These are our premier audience seats that we've given them. Uh, they're going with number three. So what are the golf balls originally made for? Number one, dried cow eyeballs. Number two, horses foreskin. Number three, pigs intestines. The live audience is going with number three. Uh, David Wells is changing his outfit so that he feels better about himself and appears to be more holy. So he will be coming on a little bit, and we're going to switch over to something very exciting for David R. Wells. All right, let's put up one of... Jim put some um, commercials together for me. Yes, here we go. Which I thought, these were, the first little part you can't see real well, but at the no, end. That's fine, now watch this guy. He's celebrating too soon. The whole thing is called too, soon. too soon. Look at him, boom! There you go, when you celebrate too soon, look what happens to you. That is so There true. you go, there you go. Now watch this guy, forgetting he has one lap to go. He's, oh, he still has another lap? Yeah, he has a lap, lap to go. <gasps> oh, Look at him, no. now he's like, and there goes everybody else. You're joking. Nope. Now watch this one. This is the Buffalo Bills, one of my favorite teams. Watch it. Long bomb here. 
And look at, yeah, I so got this. Here, people, look at me. Oh, three yards from the goal line. That is my bills right there. That's my bills. That's tough. That's it. And then I loved, uh, let's see, this next one. I think this is a, a, a Canadian football. But look He's at this dude. Run it back. Same thing. Here we go. We're going to celebrate too soon. We're going to do it. You know what? I'm going to run backwards for a while. I'm going to nail yep, it. Bam. Oh, bam. So there that doesn't count because he got tackled. Yeah, he made it though, but yeah. All right, here we go. This guy. This guy is great. He's, I mean, like, he's, look at, I'm so good. Yeah, watch what happens. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah, watch. He celebrates, lost the race. Well, I kind of figure because Yeah, now this here. guy. Uh, what happened? We froze. Uh -oh. That's probably we're me. we're still there. Okay, maybe we're finished. Nope, it says that we're not done. Oh, well. Well, we're just having all kinds of little time. Oh, there you, whoop, whoop. Well, there well, we go. Well, there you go. That's good. So there you go. Celebrating too soon. Too soon. That's why soon. I couldn't play sports. I, my celebrations were great. My game was not that great. Right. David R. Wells is now joining. So, David R. Wells, since you are live well, and wait you're Wait a minute, not yet. What? So, we, got, we didn't answer Oh, that's right. Question. You get really excited about this hockey thing. Very excited. Honey, we have a genius hockey Menza. Uh, well, I got to tell you, I think Sean might be our Menza tonight with the hockey, too. He's known a lot of the answers, so you have to see if he can weigh in. Sean's not a top fan. We can't give well, him preferential treatment. I don't think David's a top fan either. His he loves is. us. I his know he loves is. us. His wife is. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, what were golf balls originally made from? All right, which one? Okay, it's one. It was dried cow eyeballs. But <laughs> wait, what's the horse's foreskin? What was that made out of? Remember no, what you, sport was it? Yeah, what? Do you remember? Oh, I, I think it, oh, I forget. What were you going to say? I think it was a baseball. I think it was. I think it's like a baseball. And yeah, there is something. I'm like, the, how, what? The what? The horse's foreskin they used to make wallets out of. They made wallets out I'm of those like, things. if you stroked it three times, it became a briefcase. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. One of our audience members is okay. going for sort of line of the day. All right, what are we doing now? Well, you want to give some questions to Dave. All right, here David we go. And, We're um, going to pitch it to Dave. We're going to see what Dave's got. So know, we have, yeah. tell them a little about Dave while I find the file. Well, he's amazing. Yes. He came to, down to visit us. Where does he live? Right, He's up in, um, I think they're actually in Hamilton, but Toronto. Toronto, Canada. Canada, yeah. Yep. And uh, Dave travels or doesn't travel? What yeah, about his travel, wife? I know. He's, he's one of these people that, like, we need him in America because he's able to bring people from all walks of life and all different religions and You and worked with him and, once, and, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, up at, in, up at Invictus. You, right. And Invictus. he was amazing. Okay. All right, David, here's your first question. We're going to stump the chump. You people can weigh in on these questions as well, but we are directing them to Dave because we have the, for, the nation's foremost authority on hockey. Number one, as legend has it, when hockey was played in the early days, a frozen patty of blank was used as a puck. Please okay. fill in the blank. Okay, and Sean, you seem to be like a yeah. guru with us, so you can weigh in too. And if anybody else wants and, to weigh in. Of course, yes. So what was originally used as a puck? Ladies and gentlemen, what was it? Any suggestions here? Oh, one is a pigskin football. I forgot about that pigskin. Oh, that's right, pigskin. Yeah. That's right. Throw the pigskin. All right, David R. Wells, I'm looking for your answer while we continue with the rest of this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to see David's answers while I am. Oh, man, you just can't do it all. No, I can't. I can't. So uh, Susan P. may have to weigh in on the answers over on the other string. I think Susan's over there. All right, so David R. Wells, and what do you got? So one of the things we love about Canada is what? What do we love about well, Canada? Well, we love Susan and David. Well, of course. We like going there because the food is good. The food? We kind of do everything based on food. What was your favorite yeah, food in Buffalo? Us. In Buffalo? Oh, yes. beef on whack. Oh, my word, that stuff is like crack. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I Ma could eat that all the Michael time. Michael Scott has come in with the answer, and unfortunately... Um, and David Wells did too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susan Wells has just told me he's a one-finger texter and is the answer cow dung. Yes. I know it is. David, it is. He got that one right. All right. I guess they froze Who it. Is, oh, here's, wow. Here's, the other Beth said. Oh, the okay. Same. The average hockey player. Average hockey. I would say, when I say that, it sounds like some of them are below or above average. But the average <laughs> hockey player loses how many pounds during a game? How many pounds? Maybe we should all become hockey players. That's right. Okay, so Michael Scott had said, Sean Ryder is a serious competitor. I wrote that really? Sean, or is it Ritter? It might be Ritter. 
receives emotional support as top fan. I'm willing to oh, bequeath really? the top fan title to him for the night. Really? Well, wow. while we're waiting, we have to have our, our audience member give us back the tooth, the emotional support tooth. So put it up into the jaws of life up there, Neil, if you can. Thank you very much, sir. And there we are. We have the tooth back now. It's back. It's from the road. From the it road. It was on the road in an undisclosed location, in an undisclosed right. object. We carried it. Oh. Like the Stanley Cup. That's right. Okay. Okay, so there you go. We've got that right. back. So we could give Sean one of those if he if he does well in this. Okay. Oh, see, Quinn said beef on whack with horseradish. The horseradish. Oh. Okay, where did you have beef on whack when you were up there this time? Well, we went in to go to Schwabbles, but Schwabbles wasn't open when we could go. Yeah. So we had to go to O'Neill's. Right. And then we went to Charlie's. Charlie the Butcher. Charlie the Butcher. And which of those two did you prefer? Charlie the Butcher. Yeah. But Charlie the Butcher, the horseradish was not as good, was it? Well, it was okay. I mean, you just had to put more of it on, but their buns are phenomenal. They had great buns. Okay, David Wells has come back with an answer of three kilos because he's Canadian. Oh. So we're going to give it to him because huh. the number is between 5 and 10 pounds. I know. So what would 3 kilos be? Uh, se seven. So six, se yeah, 7. 6 or 7. See? All right. Seven. Next question. Hockey question. Who is considered to be the toughest player ever in hockey? Toughest player ever. Give you a clue for those of you people that don't really know a lot about hockey. He ain't playing no more. Been a long time Can't since play he no played. No. I have no idea. Who is the toughest player ever in hockey? David R. Wells, go. All right, there we are. And then Sean says between 8 and 10 pounds. He was right on. So he See? did good. I, I'm Stark? telling you, he's gotten all the, uh, the questions I'm right on the you. hockey. Charlie the Butcher is good food, says Michael Scott. Pandora says she got it. She said between 5 and 10. Linda Putz says 1. Is that 1 pound Putz? Seriously? Good Lord. Michael Armstrong is watching. Do you know what that means, honey? We have representation right now oh, in Japan. Japan. He's in Japan. Ohio. Mike, oh, that's right. Neil, would you like Ohio. to say hello to our uh, guest that's watching in Japan? Ohio. There you are. Ohio. That's how you say uh, good afternoon in Japanese. Everybody say Ohio to David Ar to Michael Armstrong. That'd be great. Okay, people are waiting in. I think I'm going to ask another question the way you're doing Oh, something. David Wells. Now, we're going to see. Sean is doing a face-off here. No pun intended. So David has come up with the wrong answer. The wrong answer. Who All has? Right. David, David R. He okay. said Doug Harvey. Okay. No, Neil Green like, says Charlie Brown. Lydell says Gordy Howe, which is the right answer, David R. Wells. Bob Atwood says but Rob Ray. Um, Leanne says good evening. Uh, Leanne is watching us. Susan says Dave used to play for the Fighting Saints Bible school team. Uh -huh. oh, the Fighting Yay. Saints. Lydell says Gordy. Yep, that's correct. Uh, Wanda says, I do do know how to spell his name. Linda Putz says, he's an incredible hope. No, nope, you just... See, Gretzky, Gretzky's the only guy I would know. He's not tough, though. He's a great player, but he wasn't considered to be the toughest player. This guy was a badass. All right, Gordy Howe. Who did he play for? The Red Wings. All right, here we go. Okay. This is a, this is a, a softball to you, David. Considering all the points that the nations have scored in playing hockey... In the Winter Olympics, Wayne Gretzky, which whenever I mention that with Dave, I have to genuflect. Okay. So Keep Wayne going. Gretzky outscored several entire nations in the history of their appearances playing hockey in the Winter Olympics. Name three nations that Wayne Gretzky has outscored the entire nation. <laughs> three nations. Thank you. I, Chris, I was actually thinking that myself. What? You said a bad word. I said Wayne Gretzky. Oh, I did. Yes, you right. did. Well, see, they probably had to beep you. Oh, jeez, we're probably going to get cut. <laughs> so, um, David, name me three nations that Wayne Gretzky has out outscored. Gordy Howe was the nicest. When we say toughest, we mean fighter. Oh, there might be a different. The oh, Susan is contesting the answer. Fight. Yeah, this was a Google answer. He was considered the toughest player ever, Gordy Howe. But now Susan is saying that might be an American definition of tough. There you go. So maybe their Google is different. So Susan, you could ask who was the toughest player in the NHL and see if the Canadian Google comes up with your answer. Okay. All right. Moving on. Do you got a video? Well, no. I mean, oh. we'll wait. I guess we'll wait. Yep. Wait. We're, David's working on it. Nobody's who are the answering. The answer. answer, David Wells says, the answer is subjective. subjective. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. 
going to the mat. Going to argue this thing. How about we get to the great moments in sports? Yeah. All right, so Gwen says... Yeah, can't, and do oh. the great moments in sports. Oh, yes. Well, people were answering. Oh, yeah. Maradona. You know that moment? Come on, people. Oh, Roger Bannister beating the four-minute mile. Look at that. You know who that is. Hussein. Yeah, look at that. And then the, the great one saying the line. Right there. And this, uh, the German guy when he crashed and burned. And then this, remember that photo finish yeah. in the Olympics? Right, that was amazing. That was amazing. So there's some good photo stuff we put together. All right, so David Wells is guessing Denmark, Norway, and Kazakhstan. Give him the golden puck. Those are three of them. We lost. I don't think um, Sean uh, even tried to Pandora says Haiti, it. Costa Rica, and Honduras. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> That's You're my the girl. best. That's the best. Do any of them even have a hockey team? I don't that would think so. be great. All I right. think that's kind of the point. And then Wanda begins says China, Russia, and Switzerland. Uh, not Russia, but yes, you're good. You're very close there. All right. David R. Wells got it right. So, David, you're smoking it. All right. So, David, here we go. Another question for you, people. Wait a minute. What? We gotta go to our other questions. Oh, are we? Are we yeah. done with David? Well, how many are you doing here? I didn't know. Bella? I'm just killing time. <laughs> Moving on with the show. Hey, stupid, pay attention to the I know. Woman. He's like taking over. Hey, stupid, pay attention to the woman. Stupid, pay attention to That's the best. All right, next question. All right, let's go to one of these other ones. All right, what do you got? Most people don't know hockey. Hockey's, oh, you know. honey, when you got the Canadians, you go with it. Right, right, okay. Now I got it. I'm lost, I'm lost. What? Don't be, Wait, you made me quit. One. I know. Hang on. I don't know. You got nothing. Oh, this one I think is really interesting. Okay, what do we got? Which activity is considered a professional sport in Thailand? Number one, kite flying. Number two, flame throwing. Number three, hatchet tossing. Okay, the audience is split. The audience is going with number one as, as an answer and number three as an answer. So number one is kite flying and number three is hatchet tossing. They did not go for flame throwing, even though it's a very hot nation. I would have thought maybe yep. Gail would pick up on that. Well. So, there you go. Okay. All right, what's coming in? Okay, Wanda said yes, Jim. <laughs> oh, David Orwell says, my friend coached the Costa Rican cross-country ski team. <laughs> All one oh, of them. All one of them. <laughs> I got to tell you, though, we know somebody that um, in Arizona, their son plays hockey. And Ooh. I'm like... Dr. Provrock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His boys. That his twin boys play. That just amazes me. Like, Better than that, his that's... wife plays. Right. Oh, She's that's a goalie. right. Yeah, that's she plays right. as a goalie. And she does a lot of travel. She had I'm been, like... last time we were there, she was up in Vegas playing. That was amazing. So she says, playing hockey. That's <laughs> right. David Orwell says number two for that answer. Gwen says number one. Leanne says the hatchet. Lydell says number three. The putts, we don't care, Linda. Uh, Sean says number one, but I want it to be number two. So Sean's, Sean's a little divided. This could okay. jack up his uh, award of the ceremonial upside down tooth. We only present those. Those are upper molars. Right. I got gotcha. you. Well, usually we give out lower molars, but we could give Sean an upper molar is what we could do. All right. So um, I think that's it. What do you got, dear? All right. Well, the answer is it's kite flying. No kidding. Number it's one. It's kite flying. So let's that really see. Surprised. I didn't know that they even really flew kites there, but I, I guess they do. and. Sean it's a professional got it. sport. Sean got it. I think there's some fun we could have oh. with a professional sport. See, right? David Wells missed it, and he went for the flamethrower. Well, see, that's what we were kind of going for. Yeah, but see, he's a preacher. He's all about hell. So you got to go with that. The other best says the Arizona Coyotes. Oh, is that who they are? I was yeah. like, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Linda Putz, does Florida have a hockey team? Yes, we have two hockey teams. What do we have? Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And the Florida Panthers. Oh, well, yeah, Panthers, well, I have one of the Panthers, haven't I? Yeah, no, I think he's well, right. Two. Uh, who's the other Florida hockey team, David? You know what? Um, I don't know. Pandora got it, another one right, and uh, Wanda got it. Oh, wow, Wanda got it. Oh, awesome. David R. Wells, you missed it. Idell, sorry, dude. Okay, let's go to this question. All right. What professional athlete blew through oh, $120 oh, oh, oh. million? Dollars? We spelled through wrong. Blew through. Blew through. Through. Blue through. Oh, you You know what? That is how they had it spelled. Really? I copied it. Yeah. We're mad. Okay, so who blew through it? Number one, Scotty Pippen of the Chicago Bulls. Number two, Andre Agassi of tennis. Right. And number three, T.O. of football. Right. So one of those answers is correct. But blew through. When we saw this stat, we thought, how do you blow through $120 million? $120 million. That's crazy. Yes. Uh, our audience is going with number three, 
which would be Terrell Owens. And Neil, which one are you going with? One, two, or three? He's going with three as well. Terrell Owens, okay. blowing through $120 million. We had a little difficulty finding out how long it took him to blow through. Yeah, we're not sure. But, I, I mean, knowing this guy, I mean, and uh, how old he is, I would say. Fairly yeah. quickly. Yeah, he went through it pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Uh, Michael Scott says number two. Andre Agassi, the other best, says number two. Uh, David Arwell says they fly off against each other and try to take the kite down. Oh, David's now explaining competitive kite. Uh, David Wells well, says the Panthers. He's probably been there to see it. David's, you were right. Dale, it's the Panthers. So there you go. Uh, number three says Gwen. Lydell says number three. All right. Pandora's coming in with number three. Pandora is on a roll, by the way. And Sean says number one. Now, Sean is the dark horse. And if Sean gets this one right, we're presenting him I gotta with the tell two. you, he has been hitting it. Sean said... Which one did he say again? One, I thought you he said. He said number one. It's Scotty Pippen. It's Scotty Pippen. Went through $120 million, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I just I'd like like to doesn't know, have any, any of that money, I guess. I'd like to know what Scotty Pippen is worth currently. Somebody could do that. You can just Google it real quick and ask how much is Scotty Pippen worth, and it'll tell you. Well, I think we better present Sean with You're the upside. You're going to upside down. He's an upper molar. He's an upper molar. You're getting an upper molar. And actually, honey, we have never presented an upper molar. We never have. Well, no. This is a big moment, ladies and gentlemen. You may want to put a star right here in the recording to remember to come back and watch this, like watching the space shuttle crash or something like that. This is a major moment. So, Sean, if you would reach your hands towards this. This is a non-refundable. We do not ask for it back, nor will we take it back. No. This is a special award. Right. It's a commemorative award for being a newbie. That's pretty sharp. There you're, you go. You're, you're sharper than the people who hosted you. Right. Which is... That's Michael, not hard. Michael but, Scott. Oh, oh, Michael I thought Scott. you meant us. No, okay. that's who brought me. Oh, I got it. Here you go, Sean. Take it. Just reach towards the TV. There you go. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Did you not? So something? that's it. No, I didn't. Okay. Have nothing over. I have to. I know that we're doing all these, but I got to do this one more question. How many days of the year is there no professional games? Now this was surprising to me. I had no clue. So no professional sports are going on. No. How many well, days? It's really of the year? major league. Uh, yeah, the five big and, ones. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Number one uh, is the answer is thirty nine. Number two, the answer is fourteen. And number three, the answer is two. So again, thirty nine days of the year. Is it fourteen days of the year or just two days of the year? There is no professional game going on. You're going with answer two or the days two. One of our audience members is doing that. And we'll find out what the rest of the okay. audience does in a minute. Linda Puss says, did he buy a small country? I know. Hey, 120 million. million today. Scotty Pippen is worth 30 million. So he didn't do it at the end of his life. Well, I end know of his, what, um, maybe he career. held on to some and then he invested it. But man, yeah. to know you went through all that money, ugh, I just The Bulls, remember. David says the Bulls blew a lot on gambling. That is definitely true. Tiffany Porter is oh. now joined. She has not been here in a long time. Welcome, oh, yeah. Tiffany. Oh, yeah. How are the hens? How are the hens? Okay, honey, Kanye West has asked David Wells to be his vice presidential running mate. That's what Susan says. Do you think that's true? Is that really true? All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We could have had a first here. We don't know don't if it's true I don't have that on here. I think it's I... that. All right, Lydell says the answer is number two. Michael, says, uh, Michael Scott says Scotty Pippen is currently worth $30 million, just like Dad said. So 20% of how much he blew through, according to... Wow. Uh, Pat Kemp. I don't know Pat Kemp. This is answers number one. Debbie answers number three. Sean answers number three. Linda Putz is going with three. David R. Wells is going with number two. And Gwen goes with number two. All right, so I'm kind of curious. So, But didn't he already decide who his running mate is? So he must have said no. David said no to Kanye. I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't know. She just left us hanging there. She did. She just threw that out there and went for a walk. I know, I know. That's a classic Susan. Drop the mic. I know. Why am I down? I got to tell you, this is a good show. We got a lot of good guests on today. We've got 12. We've got uh, 22 people watching. So, And by the way, last episode, the one that was on the road from the Undisclosed location, had how many views? 4,000? I don't use, yeah. Yeah, 4,300, yeah. 4,500. That was awesome. So we need you all to share. Don't forget, when the program's over, share it from the Jim Peters. Don't share it from Jim Peters because we can't track the data, right? Okay. And the answer is, is. two. Two days, Two days of the year, there is not a professional sport going on. And think about that, because you know there's other things on. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? There's, there's got to be like uh, yeah, curling. golf or yeah. curling. Or yeah, yeah. tennis, because those were included in that. Have you noticed the bizarre sports that are going on now that oh, there are no sports? We've been watching some bizarre We've gotten sports. into um, oh, uh, soapbox car- derby. Soapbox. <laughs> it's adorable. They're all drunk, but it's awesome. You have to see it. James Oss just joined us. Uh, Dave Wells said no to Kanye West. He did a lousy wrap-up show 
for the 2015 oh. Pan Ams. Oh. But he's had a change of heart since Oh, Dave then, was David. at the Pan Ams. You need right. to give him a little break there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wanda Begin oh, is Wanda. leaving. Gotta go. Bye, Wanda. Wanda, Wanda, we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit. It's very Christian of you. Okay, we already did that one. Honey, you got that up. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, you know what? I think I got to play the car crush. Oh, yeah. We played this earlier, but since you guys may not have yeah. seen it, I just can't believe this. This is the worst day ever. The guy stops to pee. Yeah, he's over there in the pee. Look, he's standing there in the woods peeing. He's like, what in the His world? His car You know, the worst thing about it, you guys, is the rock stays on the car. So now you got to have not only the tow truck move the car, you got to try to figure out how to get the rock off well, the like car. Well, like somebody said, I mean, if he had been in that car. Oh, well, it would have been moving. It wouldn't have happened. Well, not necessarily. If he would have stayed in the car. just gotten in. Maybe he would have been on a phone. Not or a something. lot of people pee in the car. I'm just saying. Oh, David watches our reruns. I think she oh, said. Oh, he's a rerun. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Soapbox Derby started in Dayton, Ohio. Is that true, Dad? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yep. It is. Oh, I well, there you go. Get away. That's right. Neil says it. I'll tell you. Uh, Pandora's that. on a roll. We may have to do something special for Pandora. Okay. All right. So I think, how are we doing on time? I mean, I don't know how oh, to do this. I don't this even know when we started. Honey. I know. We, we're at 8, well, 10, we started 20. four times. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Oh. So we don't really know when we started. So we're just rolling it, hon. All right. So uh, go ahead. What else you got? And we'll just well, wrap her up. Well, did we do the minutes in an NBA game? No. We got to do that. Okay. How much action time is in an NBA game? Yeah. Is it one 20 minutes, two 48 minutes, or three 60 minutes? So how many minutes of actual basketball time of live play are you actually seeing? One 20 minutes, two 48 minutes, or number three 60 minutes? Well, Linda Putt said it's been 500 days between sports because of COVID. I wonder if that's like, would that be right? Is there any sport? Well, none Not of the big ones are going on right now. There's no baseball. There is no big sport going on. Well, thus... Oh. Golf is still going. Oh, golf is still going? Yeah. Okay, well, there's golf. There's golf. And there's Soapbox Derby, like we said. Debbie Kaufman Gabbard wants to know, what do I get? Who? Debbie Kaufman. Oh, wait a minute. What, what does she doing? get? Why do we owe you anything, Debbie? I think she got the answer right. Did she? Well, we're proud of you, number one. All right, and we got a couple of... Everybody gets an award. That's right. Everybody gets an award. We had some bobbleheads from Dad's collection. Here's one of the reds that he has. What's the guy's name? I'm covering up with my Billy finger. Hamilton. Billy Hamilton. Billy Hamilton. There's Billy Hamilton, Dad's bobblehead. Dad has had like lifetime tickets to who? Dragons. The dragons. dragons. They're called the Dayton Dragons. Yeah. And we They're have a Dayton team. Dragon bobblehead here. It's Todd Fraser. But look at the look on his face. It's like he's constipated, I'm pretty sure. It's okay, like, Pandora said, I'm glad you were late today. Family dinner, all five kids were home. Oh, oh but that was fun. Who said that? Your family looks so pa cute. Pandora, who? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Pa uh, no, Tiffany. Tiffany. Oh, uh, Tiff, we love you. Oh, okay, back to Tiff's the got a cool family. Are your kids bilingual, Tiffany? Tiffany's husband's from the Philippines. Yeah. So we want to find out if your kids are bilingual. Actually, they could be like quadlingual. I know. So you know I have dialects. a friend, and her mom was from um, China, and she did not want to speak the language, and she first got here, and now she regrets that. She wanted to learn Mandarin. James Ost. It's my buddy down in Texas. He says, sumo wrestling will make a comeback after all the lockdown and weight gain. Slap a diaper on me and I'm a sex symbol in Japan. <laughs> Wine of the day right there, baby, ladies and Wine gentlemen. Oh, James, that's loud. That's loud. James Ost, we're giving you the line of the day. We're, we're closing off applications right now. I'm and nominations. Down. James Ost, please reach toward the, the screen. And there you go. James gets to possess that for how long, honey? Um, until Thursday. Thursday at 7 o'clock. We'll try to come out. Today we came out about 7 o'clock, 7.02, 7.08, and 7.14. I know. But today, Technical difficulties. Thursday today. we'll be on at 7. Yes. Yep. So okay. that'll do it. Uh, not, not Tagalog, Tiffany says. Spanish and English. Wow. They're not from Spain. Oh, that's cool. That is bizarre. Okay, not Tagalog. Chris and Linda says, is there an award for the most addicted? There. Oh, that's, that's very sweet, sweet of you. We can't. Don't talk about Lydell that way, though. That's what? Just, just kidding. Just trying to throw a Chris. All right, so I'm going to go back to the, my question. Debbie says mail it to her. We're not mailing you nothing, Okay, Debbie. how much action time is in an NBA game? Okay, audience. You guys, it's you know what? In some ways, we should be able to figure this out. It's two. It's 48 minutes because when they're on, they're on, basically. Yeah, that's it. This, the clock never stops. That's the trick. Oh, great. I know. I think, I think we have an audience member that's going to dispute it. Nah. But that was what we found online. Yes. But that does make sense. When they play, they play. They don't keep going into huddles. And yep. Now, David R. Wells says, German and English football is up and running. Go Watford. Oh, really? 
Really? Yeah, so soccer. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. James Aust says, God bless you. He's so moved by the award. <laughs> James Aust is good people, man. Okay. Good people. Let's see. James Aust and I did a youth camp up in the mountains of California with the giant redwoods and everything. And I had my two nieces with me. They were in high school. And uh, <laughs> they, one of them said to me, she was like 16, and it's so gorgeous up there. Those ginormous redwoods and everything. It's amazing. And the air is so clean and everything. And she looks around and she goes, why would anybody live so far from a mall? Oh, did she really? <laughs> well, yeah, if you have family. to explain it, then it's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Susan says they will be in Quebec Thursday. They can't understand English. They're only French. David's got to speak That'd in French. That'd be fun. David is bilingual. I wonder if it's a small, will it be a small little venue, I guess, that they're going to? Or, David? Because you guys are pretty. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're a lot. And they're really strict up there. Yeah, Susan, can you uh, can you go sit in a coffee shop and drink coffee? Yeah, what can you, are you guys yeah, got out? Any, is anything open? I don't know, honey. Susan, give us an update. We need to hear. And then we're going to close this program off, honey. Um, Tiffany says her daughter spent four months in Costa Rica and is engaged to a guy from Colombia, South Carolina. Her, we got, if, if Tiffany invites us over for food, we're bringing dad. Because you're going to get Colombian food, Filipino food, and American. Okay. It's good Chris stuff. Chris Sutherland just said, they're so addicted to us. They're watching from the cabin. They really? They all about the cabin. They need to get an award. They got a, how do you even have Hi-Fi? We have Wi-Fi. We can't even. They have a Ted Kaczynski cabin, though. It's kind of small. <laughs> just enough to make a bomb. <laughs> just kidding, Chris. Just weird. All right, boys what and girls. What goes through your little, little pumpkin head? All right. Well, Chris, we thank you for it. We'd love yes. to give you a gift. And all we got that's <laughs> memorable no, for here. you, Chris, is we're going to give you this Let's pick something control. out of here. Out of our We're going to get it out of there? Honey, then, then the kit is incomplete. Oh, there. You want to give them these? Yeah. Well, Chris, this is better than money. We're yeah. going to present you with this today for being the most rabid fan. These are came out of the survival kit, and these are handy wipes, you know. So these are worth, this thing probably when we got them, they gave us several thousand, they weren't worth two cents. Now they're worth like six bucks a piece. Oh my God, David and Susan are talking French just. Yeah, what? Was, they gave us like, how many do we have of those? Like right oh. before COVID. So like we Couple have all thousand. these wipes. Yeah, we didn't even worry about that. All right, so there you go. So what did Susan P I say? don't, well, they're speaking French. Does oh. any, can anybody translate? No, she's probably swearing Oh, Chris is in tears. Uh, huh? Chris is in tears. He I knew he would be because this, this is a big gift. There's got alcohol in there, so if you squeeze them, you can drink them. There you go. All right, honey, we better wrap this thing up. I know. Up. Okay. So we're going to kind of just make a general closing prayer for everybody. Here, we'll just do a little mind little is blown. Our mind is blown. We'll better, blow please. our mind. So everybody, don't forget, please share. Share the broadcast. Share it from the Jim Peters. Don't share it from just old Jim Peters, but share it from the corporate side, if you want to call it that. And we appreciate everybody joining. Keep us in your prayers. We have an event this Sunday. Yeah. Doing a fun uh, fundraiser talking about the Warrior House at a church in Springboro. Huh? Who's making it? Tiffany said prizes are just random stuff. Where's the motivation? No tooth. We did have a we tooth. Gave we tooth gave the tooth. You away. missed it. The guy smoked the line. I'm telling you, Tiff. I know. So, you would have given it to him. Yeah. So there you go. All right, let's close this thing in prayer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you, Jesus, for your constant love in our lives and for taking care of us. We ask that you would continue to reveal to our, na our uh, leaders of our nation, Lord, how in the world we go forward from here, Jesus, that they would get wisdom beyond their years, that you'll help those of us that are left behind trying to figure all of this out, that you'll give us patience, but most of all, peace. In Jesus' name, we all need peace. I ask, especially tonight, that you would heal my wife, with all the headaches she's been having and the sinus infection, Lord, we ask for a real miracle for her in Jesus' name. And keep us safe as we're on the road. And everybody said, amen. Amen. Yeah. All, all right. right, guys. Thank you guys for hanging in there with Thanks us tonight. We know we've got patience. a lot. Yep. So we'll do our little. All right, the putz is trying to speak French now. <laughs> all right, love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs>